My name is Timothy Young Jr., but I go by Tim. Yeah, I'm 18 years old. I was pretty young. I was like 11 years old when my cousin died. Made me feel like every little empty inside, like not like no emotions, if that makes sense. Uh, at the time, I felt like I was getting the support that was right for me. Having that feeling of like being on your own, I don't know. That's just how, that's like my mindset. That's how I was like, go get it if you want it. Cause that's what my dad taught me growing up. So I just learned how to like live on the streets like that. Go still, you know, like stealing food like early in the morning for like breakfast type stuff. My name is Amanda Marks and I'm the Community Impact Director at Tunadito. So grief can really impact all aspects of a child's development. If at that time when they're grieving that death loss that they are not getting the support that they need, that they don't move through the different tasks of the grief process, they can kind of then move throughout life with this unresolved grief that can kind of set them up for poor decisions, acting out, and kind of allow them to internalize this unresolved grief and it can create unhealthy habits in them as they move forward in their life. I ended up in the juvenile detention center because I was like on the run from not being like at home. And then that led me to like stealing. I didn't have to do that, but I did it because I don't know. I just didn't feel safe like at home. That's what really got me like in the juvenile system. My name is Angie Lopez. I work for the Pima County Juvenile Court. So the Pima County Juvenile Court certainly recognizes that many, if not most, of the young people we serve have experienced trauma. For those reasons, we are a trauma-responsive court, which means it's our role to try to connect young people to services that can support them in healing from that trauma, to better support young people who have experienced a death loss by developing peer support groups that happen at Goodwill. Our staff are receiving training from the experts at Tunadito about how to support young people that have experienced a death loss and what that looks like and how individuals individualize that process is. My name is Lance Meeks and I'm the Senior Program Manager of the Goodwill Southern Arizona's Youth Reengagement Centers. I first came into contact with Tim when he visited our Goodwill Metro Youth Center and uh, he was referred by his juvenile probation officer. He seemed real guarded, um, seemed like he didn't want to be in the center. If I go down there, it's going to be different. Yeah. Like, you know? I know if I go, I'm not gonna talk to nobody. Mm. I'm gonna stick to myself. I don't know, I have a habit of like, every time I open up to people, I'm always getting like, talked on or like, talked about. Oftentimes when I have been working with teens in a support setting is, they are so appreciative of when somebody just sees them for who they are. Now I feel like with Goodwill, I'm more comfortable with like, open up to people like, for instance, like Lance, Just tell them like what I've been going through, how I feel. Not yet. No. I'm not ready yet, <laughs> but I'll get there. I just don't know, man. I don't know. I really have like a lot of trust for them because they've been there for me. It's definitely not the same kid um, since I first met Tim. Um, and, and ultimately, I'm seeing a lot more smiles on his face. He comes in the center, he's dancing, he's singing. He asks a lot of questions as well, so. My ideal system would be that we would identify young people that have experienced a death loss earlier. You do not know what that child has experienced up until now and what kind of grief backpack they're carrying and what unresolved grief they have and if they had just had a safe supportive environment in which to process their grief, what would their life look like now?